hey dreamers this is jacked up place and today we're going to continue with the um with the sculpt of the horse basically um i we, we did like like last time we did the um um like the begin skull basically like the hat like i already like did the hat like before i would explain that in in the in the previous video but um but since it's like it's spook october it's like it's almost halloween and i already thought like maybe this is like the best way to like show this uh sadly i did record the sculpting but i didn't really record the um, <laughs> the, pro uh, the recording like my voice recording i was like just like making the sculpt without like having um something like talk over because like i wasn't really sure yeah um like if i was going to do this at all um so i recorded this and so i'm just like adding now a voice over a little bit later explaining a little bit of like what i'm doing and um even though i don't even know always what exactly i am doing <laughs> um but like this is just like a little bit of like i'm thinking i'm, I'm doing a little bit different than the previous video um so basically what i really want to like um like do is make it the video a little bit shorter so not going to be like a one hour video um but i'm i think i'm going to make it um i will show you like a little bit of bits here and there of like the process of the horse that i've been sculpting and then um i will do i don't know maybe i'll do the begin parts a little bit like fast forwarding <laughs> and and then like when uh when i think i'm done it's sort of like a podcast maybe a little bit although i don't really have anything in the podcast to talk about <laughs> um but well maybe i do have something to talk about actually i d um like at the moment of recording the media molecule released something new in dreams and i made already uh some videos about that you can check that on youtube my youtube channel and that is like the new uh update of 2.51 with of course the big most um not maybe we requested but like the most one that like people were looking forward to that was uh <laughs> that was the sticker mode and i made a video about that my first basically like my tips and thoughts about most of my videos that it's like the first time i'm checking those new features out so it's also new for me and that was, that's why i'm making this video so i just want to like make that quickly when something is coming out in dreams i want to make a video about that and just like explain what my thoughts are what my tips are as well if i uh, go along with it um and i will share that with you guys because knowledge is free um so yeah that's a, I, I really love that new feature the sticker mode it's really like i've already seen people making some really cool stuff um uh, that i didn't even thought about it yet <laughs> people come already with really crazy stuff with the sticker mode um i think that the sticker mode is a very welcoming like new additional to to dreams and i think it's super great and what i really like about sticker mode is that like you, you have now more options to to make your scene a little bit more like alive and what i mean with that is like it doesn't really matter if it's like it's animated because like you can you can animate uh you can of course animate it stuff and like on the surfaces there's so many great stuff i didn't even like show or explain it in my videos but there are so many ways you can do now with sticker mode that it's, it's really beyond like some of like your ideas and i think that like with sticker mode mostly is that like it will open doors of new like new ideas and creative uh for like creative minds basically and um like pe people already like come up with really quickly stuff with sticker people are so f fast always with if there's an update out people go straight into it and make something amazing out of it people are like like they are like waiting for a new update and like like work on it right away <laughs> i really love that like uh, like i'm not really like that myself i mean like of course i always enjoy when there's a new update out but i take my time i'm I, if you know me by now i'm a super slow sculptor i do my things very slowly i am a little bit more of a perfectionist um at least in my eyes what you think about my stuff that's <laughs> that's your opinion but at least in my eyes a little bit more perfectionist and so i take my time with like um with, with, with doing stuff 
in uh, if I, I sculpt something in dreams or if I like make something uh, in general in dreams or outside of dreams as well. Um, I, I really sometimes can take my time and um, and that's just simply because like I'm not always uh, as motivated and um, and not like in in a bad way, but more something like sometimes you need to like like lay back and and chill for a moment and and rethink about some things that you haven't really thought of that moment when you were doing something like sometimes you need to like take a step back of what you're doing at least in, in for like at least for for me uh personally um otherwise i get not really like, i get clustered and there's like so many ideas popping in my my mind and then i'm not really know what to do <laughs> um so what i like sometimes do i just like nah i take a little bit of a break and then i come back to uh, a sculpt when i'm like oh i have a really great new idea and then i will like uh, continue on working on that um that's a little bit my approach of doing this um i think it's maybe also for some people related but um yeah i cannot always like focus on one particular sculpt like for hour long um i sometimes like need to lay it, to rest it a little bit and then come back later at maybe the same day or another day or another week or maybe even weeks after sometimes i just like need to lay it lay low for example a very really good example and i'm not really sure when you're going to see this video but we have now a um all hallows dreams uh the last something something uh, <laughs> uh the last lost dreams or something was called and uh, it's an event i mean monarchy made always for the community every year um and this year it's with a forest that you can create something inside a forest and what i made was i made like a forest with and i will make a video about this on my youtube channel as well you will see in trailer and teaser trailer and eventually a release trailer because i'm making i'm going to make two versions one version it's like for that event uh specifically and the second version is going to be a more of like an um um like a video clip basically uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, uh, just wait a little bit longer, maybe. But like, if and if you already know what I'm talking about, um, it is something for that I made for Halloween. But coming back to what I uh, what I was talking about is that I made it some time ago a um, cathedral slash church, whatever you want to see and call it. Um, and I made that and I sculpted that, and I, I, I had not really a good like. Uh, I, I really didn't have like one specific purpose of what or where I could use it for. Um, I did it had already in mind to make it something um, like a little bit like something spook, like not spooky, but like more of like Halloween vibe already. So I already made the church like broken down and and that like, but I had not really any purpose of um, in what type of scene I was going for. I, I, at first I thought of like a graveyard and so that was already in the mind some graveyard and stuff like that but i made that and i let it rest <laughs> and i didn't really touch it anymore and until now that we got halloween uh with the halloween event and also that mean molecule has now that forest it i got something like an eureka moment and this is exactly what, what i was talking about sometimes you get like an eureka moment <laughs> and uh, as if it's like it's meant to be and like mini molecule made that event and i saw i saw the forest and i i i, I first was like thinking okay what can i do can i make something with carnival or some pop and or my or um uh, or something with like uh, i don't know like a, a graveyard and i i but then it popped into my oh and i was like i know what i'm going to do I already have something that could perfectly fit into this. <laughs> and um, so there's, I just like use that like that church or the cathedral that I already made like a long, long uh, like a few months ago uh, or weeks. I don't remember when I made it, but like a few weeks ago and I'm like, oh, I can use that one right now. And I got an idea to um, to still have that idea what I had back then. Um, with the graveyard and with the church and with the or like with the cathedral, but there is something else that I was like thinking of, and it was like, 
There is, um, and this is like a little bit like a personal thing, um, but for people that are outside of the Netherlands and not really living in the Netherlands right now, uh, and maybe you have never heard of it before, but there is a theme park here in the Netherlands where it's more of like, um, I don't want to call it like a Disney, um, like a Disney park, but like it's more of like a fairy tale uh, forest, so to speak. Like it's it's really like a um like you're going into the theme park and there are rides there are there are roller coasters but they all are very heavily themed in a specifically uh type of like uh not not an area but more of like a tale like a story and it's really one of my favorite theme parks and one of the attractions that uh was standing there it's a very old one and i think like it's stood there for like 40 years or something like that like and it got destroyed it's at the moment that we're speaking it is um being demolished <laughs> uh it will take two years actually until it's like um till it's like in like um remade into something new but there was like a very old show slash attraction it was not really like an attraction it was not like a ride it was not like something that you can go inside and like go in a roller coaster or something like that it was just like a um it was like a big stage with uh puppets with assets and with um uh like how you say like with, with, with like animatronics but very old animatronics and they were like dancing on the song that was going to play and the story was it wasn't it was a ghost um a ghost castle it was a castle where it took it where it took place and that castle was like very like it wasn't ruined like it was like it was destroyed and the castle you go you could go go inside the castle and like once you were like uh, standing behind glass there were like five or six or seven different types of glass around in a circle around to, sh to to view that stage and you were looking at like a castle and you saw the the uh inside the um, i don't know what's called in english but uh the uh, i know it in, in dutch but <laughs> but like the inside of like the castle you see um uh you see graveyard and you see um uh, um yeah a sort of like a pathway um and and some tombstones in the foreground and when like the when the show was going to start and there was music going to play um well suddenly those assets those animatronics were getting alive and they were going to dance and they were going to um to do crazy stuff and like i remember that as as a kid i thought i was so fascinated by that and I, it, it was not so very it was not a popular uh attraction at all <laughs> especially not in this time of age like a lot of people get bored by this idea if they're seeing right now like a lot of people need to get high speed and and more um yeah more g g's uh, in the corners and i don't know the air, the air time something like that but it was just like a very old animatronic show but i really love the aesthetic in there um it it it, it, it had a certain vibe it had that, that that spooky creepy vibe that i really love and since it now gets destroyed and it it, it they will be replaced with something not similar, but a little bit more modern with like with what how kids and people would love to do right now. Like with, with it's, it's going to be more of a ride now instead of like that you're standing still and watching a show. You will be taking part in it, something like that. I don't really know what's going to be yet, but um, they will keep the same music. Uh, at least that's what I think. And but they are going to do something about it with a ride. I don't know, but when like that they got it's 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 got destroyed um it just, the the destruction started in i think it was like end of september begin october and that was like the same time when you also had the um the event going on like the the, the deadline of the event wasn't it was like beginning of september and the news was already way before that with that um the theme park was going to destroy that attraction 
and hit f the all the pieces. Oh, sorry, all the puzzles fell into places, and um, I really thought like maybe I will do a sort of like a love letter to my um, yeah when I was like a kid and I was like enjoying that uh, that 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 show back then. Um, of course, with my own taste and with my own style and with my own ideas and like, but I really want to make it like it's it's like it's a love letter to that. And so what I did, and um, I was searching for something like the same vibe. So what I did, I like built that the cathedral and I made a graveyard. Um, not like a big graveyard, but like a very small one. I think it's a cathedral. You don't really have a big graveyard there because like it's old and in the wood. Uh, in the forest <laughs> and um and i built a violin um, i sculpted the violin sadly i didn't record uh that sculpture i'm a little bit stupid about that otherwise i would have uh <laughs> showed it uh, uh of course on youtube um but i did it in my spare time i did it like off, re off recording and off stream um, a little bit stupid on my end because like i think maybe it would be nice to see or to show how i made that um but i made a violin and I only needed to, and I sculpted a few assets. I sculpted a fence, uh, still an old tombstone, uh, also a trinket for the for the event still, and an older an older grave graveyard grave tombstone, whatever you want to call this, and that <laughs> that's what I made. And um, but I needed something, and I needed something that I really really needed for this creation. And that was a song because like I am super terrible at making music and dreams. I can do it, but it will never, I will never get like the, 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 the I don't know, like it's, it's never going to be so impactful <laughs> that other people can do if they make something in, in, in dreams with music. And I was searching on the Dreamiverse. Uh, well, first, um, first I tried to make my the music myself i was like yeah i, I tried to make it everything myself that was like my i need to make everything myself otherwise people get like oh you didn't make everything yourself and <laughs> so i was like okay i'm going to try to make music and i was like doing it i was like trying with the beats and stuff and i was like with the violin and i was like nah this is not it this is not it this is not it this is not even close or near or what i had vision what i had in mind to 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 show in in that scene so what I did, I was like, screw this, I'm just going into Dreamiverse, and if people are going to be mad about it, they can, they can, they can mad about it. But I was going into Dreamiverse, and I was searching for music that would fit my idea. Um, probably had to remix it, I don't care about that, I mean, like, I still know how to make music, but um, not, like, from scratch. So... I searched and searched and searched and I searched a lot of like violin music and always the problem with like at least for me on my side is that I'm always scared that I when I find something that it could be copyright and I think that's like it's if you search randomly on music in the Dreamiverse uh, like in, in the dream shaping and you're searching randomly for music you never know if this is an original song or if it's a copyrighted from maybe a anime or movie or uh, I don't know an, 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 like an, an, an cartoon that you never heard of before. So I was like a little bit scared to <laughs> to pick that one out that has like copyright and I could still not use it because like yeah I mean I'm like you of course with the TOS. So <laughs> um, so. I was like, what can I do? And then I thought of something like, wait a minute, there are some people, there are some dreamers and also people from the Molecule themselves that do sometimes stream music and uh, <laughs> and celebrate music and dreams and they like do collaborations. So like, I think that's where I need to search. I mean, at least then I know that I'm safe that people made it from scratch and it's not copyright. Well, copyrighted, I mean, like the rights are still... Uh, they still belong to, of course, um, the creator itself, um, but not like a <laughs> third party or anything like that. So I searched in, in those collections and I found, I think it was like two two songs that, um, that I found. And I was like, okay, it's one of these two. Like th these songs are really sounding great. 
and the one was with a violin um, but it ended up like with metal <laughs> and like it was like metal music at the end like at first it was very softly and, uh, and that was uh, the metal music <laughs> and that's not what I wanted um, and the other one was a little bit more it was a shorter song but it was like I think it was like two violins like two, two I think it was like a an, an string and a violin uh, playing and that was it. It was, a, it was like 30 seconds or something. It was not very long, but it was very beautiful. And I was thinking, okay, what am I going to, am I going to go for the beautiful one? <laughs> it's only like 30 seconds. Um, or am I going for the one that, that turned into metal? And you're probably not going to guess it, but <laughs> I chose the metal version. And, <laughs> and made by, I'm going to credit, uh, credit the person right now, made by Prince Tara. So if you do not know this person, check check him out, check his stuff out. He makes amazing stuff, make a uh, great song. And uh, <laughs> so um, I used his, um, his song and it was a little bit of like more of like a vampire-ish um like song but it really fitted that the melody that he made really fitted my my ideas that i had in mind in the beginning only not only not the metal part not like the rock metal part even though i love metal and, and rock and uh, stuff like that like personally but what <laughs> but what i wanted to do for my creation it didn't really fit well so um <laughs> so i had to remix it myself but I kept the melody. Um, I kept the melody a little bit the same because, like, I wanted to still, of course, like, um, yeah. I mean, like, the, the original creator made this, though. I, I still wanted to stay true to the original song, but I only remixed it and made it non-metal, and it it was like a perfect marriage, basically. Like, it it fitted so well together with what I had in mind and what I wanted to show in in that scene. So. So what I did was like I made like um, <laughs> I made like an, an an small show. It takes around four or five minutes uh, if you're going to include the intro. Uh, the intro itself, I think, is like one minute or something. It's I don't know. I think more like forty seconds. I think forty seconds intro, um, and then like the show is going to start. It will take around four minutes. And once like the, the I'm not going to explain everything because you need to, of course see it yourself once it's out there depending on when you're watching this video but it was really like something that was really fun to make and i really enjoyed it like it it was it was so fun and in the amount of time that i had like it was like 10 days that we had f to create something for that event um i always blame media molecule for this <laughs> like 10 days is nothing for me like 10 days is it, it feels like 10 seconds for me personally because like i take my time like i said earlier um like it, it, i need my time to sculpt things and um <laughs> and like 10 days to make something uh for an event is really not a lot of time for me uh i know people like other creators dream creators can do it in like uh, in an in an in an hour like there are some people that like can make beautiful scenes in just like one hour that like alone will not even happening for me <laughs> um uh, I, I really need to take my time and so i needed to like yeah to cut some ideas basically for what i had in my mind because like 10 days like i said is only like 10 seconds for me personally and i showed it like an i showed this on stream uh, a little bit uh, sadly i forgot to sorry guys i forgot to save the stream um uh yeah i don't know no, normally i always like save everything and that stream i forgot to save but um don't worry i made another stream after that where that one is safe so uh where i still show it but the, the moment that i like talked about the idea that uh, sadly that's gone but um i I really was like, um, I, I really wanted to do more um, in, in, in that particular scene. And like the forest that I used was like the large version, but it was still the, the forest that Media Molecule, of course, made. Um, it, we, were not, we were not allowed to, to make something... Um, <laughs> to make something like around the forest like the forest we couldn't touch only like the inside like the middle part we were allowed to touch and i think that's fine but it it, it 
brought some like uh, yeah you, like yeah he had to think outside of the box with some parts which you could do with it and i think that what i had visioned with the church and with the um, with the dancing tombstones and uh, other stuff <laughs> that you have to figure out um i i thought that the forest that minimoku had was already sort of like perfect for my needs um so i didn't really change much of the lighting in there um i did add up new lighting uh when the show is going to start of course i've got like i'm highlighting stuff and like make it a story so i'm telling a story and uh but the forest itself like the the vibe of the forest itself it's 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 basically uh untouched um because it, it was already so perfect to what i had in mind and it was really fun to make i really enjoyed i really enjoyed to make that for halloween and so what I'm doing right now is that um, at the moment of, not at the moment of recording, but <laughs> you know, I, I cannot do, the, do, do two things at the same time, but uh, around the same moment, <laughs> I am uh, working on a video clip version and you are going to see this version um, eventually on my YouTube channel on, um, on the section with the, the teasers and trailers. And that's where I will uh, release it. I will make a teaser trailer and um uh, maybe i will upload also the whole show i don't know um if people wanted to see that outside of dreams let me know in the comments if you want to see that outside of dreams or not um but I, at least i'm going to make a teaser trailer and then i'll put that on youtube channel and then like you can check that out in the dreams itself my plan is of course to to upload and release this before halloween itself so like when halloween is uh, this year in 2022 um, i want of course like release the video clip as well um i think i think i will be able to since i'm also going to participate into um the community jam i am not recording this normally i would record if i'm doing something with community jam because like i have another section to that but uh on my youtube channel but um <laughs> I would not finish at all on time if I'm going to record everything. Um, so I will be a little bit faster if I just do it outside of my uh, of my rec outside of recording of outside of streaming. Uh, so that's why I'm not recording that part. Um, but it doesn't mean that you won't see anything. Like I, will, like I said, I will like upload this the the, the the teaser trailer and maybe the full show as well on, on my YouTube channel. But um for people that do not already follow me on twitch i do stream on twitch i'm not streaming on youtube i cannot stream on youtube um i tried it <laughs> i almost tried it and uh i've then i real oh, well uh, thanks to um uh, uh, someone from the chat uh that i cannot do it because like i'm not uh i'm not allowed to um i may be hoping in the future i can do it but I'm of course like affiliated with uh, with Twitch, so I cannot like stream at the same time on YouTube. So I cannot do that. Like it's so people that do not follow me on Twitch, and you're specifically only for YouTube here. Keep in mind that my content is already a little bit later than normal on my YouTube channel. So things that you're seeing on my YouTube channel uh, do have a little bit of like a delay. Like if you really want to like see like. Um, like at the moment itself, I just go to my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv um, and then slash jacked up placed and uh, you can follow me there. And that's where I will show, uh, of course, how, just like live on stream, how I scale, what I'm doing. And I also showed the show itself uh, two times for the chat. And um, so if you're curious still about how the show is looking, you can go you can go to my Twitch channel. I will also upload all my streams if I'm not forgetting it, of course. Sadly, I've got one, but um, I will upload all my streams from from the beginning till the end. I'm not going to edit into like 10 minutes. I don't have the time for that. So I will upload. The whole stream, sometimes I will chop it into pieces uh, if it's going to be too big or um, or if I think that like or maybe something happened during the, 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 the chat that I once had it or like one, two times, like I had like a very bad person in my chat and 
basically brought the whole mood down and so i cut that <laughs> to put to so sometimes if you see two part two cuts into a video or like into a stream uh, stream part that means that someone in my chat was not very nice <laughs> or something that or that happened maybe uh i don't know like like the energy uh like turned off i don't know our stream went uh wrong i don't know but that's the only time when you will see editing or when you're seeing cut into a stream but otherwise i will just like upload it from the whole the whole thing so you can just like watch it on a rainy day if you want uh grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or beer or whatever or whatever you want or wine or whiskey and you can just like watch the the whole stream um as well on youtube the only thing the only side note is that this the, the 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 video itself is from longer ago so um i will upload every month at least every month a um a, a, a very long uh, stream video and sometimes they are four hours sometimes sometimes they are six hours sometimes they're only two hours it really depends on how much time i have has been streaming that day um but i will not cut unless something happened in the video i will not cut anything and just release the whole stream so you can still watch it on my youtube channel but if you want to stay up to date if you don't want to miss me live i don't really have any specific schedule um it's really almost impossible with my time uh but my time schedule my time days and stuff like that it's really almost impossible for me to have a certain schedule going on just like click on the follow button and you will see when i'm live anyway um i will also like uh, upload notifications on my social medias like on, on twitter and on uh um well i only on twitter basically and on discord as well so if you want to follow me on discord you can do that as well that's why you that's why you also get like updates when i'm going live on twitch and um yeah that's basically what it is so i um i i mostly stream like content on on, on twitch and I'm, I'm very sorry that i'm not like streaming on youtube i simply cannot do it but I use like YouTube for my basically for all everything that I upload. So my my sculpting videos, um, I'm, I'm my behind the my behind the scene videos, my tutorials, my tips and tricks and thoughts about stuff about new uh, new updates that, that minimal you come up with, um, uh, there, and of course the stream. So I have like tons of like community jams, community events. If there is a new update that I'm really want to discuss, I will upload everything on youtube so there's like still youtube is still like of course the main thing where i will will have everything going on there and um so yeah so that's 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 where you can find me and that's where you uh um can see me live doing stuff uh simply i sadly i cannot like stream in a certain schedule but hopefully I don't know depending on how the world is going to turn right now but like it really depends if i can have a certain schedule eventually going on that will be really awesome for me as well i am trying to always improve my live streams as well i've recently uh been working on my own in piece uh i've created own in piece for my uh, twitch channel uh, so if you are subscribed to me, you don't have to, by the way, there's also another call to if you want to do it or not, but just, just I always try to improve, um, like bits by bits, pieces by pieces, uh, pieces by pieces, uh, like I always like to improve a little bit of my content and I'm also trying to do that on, on YouTube and for people that already follow me for now or quite a while on YouTube, I first did like every Tuesday, a new video and it really brought exhausted to me um <clears throat> i know that i'm still working on the cyber street for example it's still it's still coming don't worry there will still be videos out there <clears throat> but um yeah i am for people that are not living in 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 europe <laughs> uh i will i will explain a little bit like we have like we're probably also outside of europe have the same issue by the way but um yeah the basically like the the prices are going uh skyrocketing right now and i cannot always having my computer on 
uh, with all my setup, all my streams, and always I, it's it's very expensive in the in the long run. I also have a gaming PC, which is not very very cheap to have it on all the time. So um, yeah, so <laughs> so I cannot. This is also one of the reasons why I'm not like uh, doing it every week anymore. Um, I'm sorry about that. I will still try to upload every at least like maybe once a month i don't know a few times in a month um but um yeah i, I really want to apologize for that because like it's simply just like it's not possible for me to do it every tuesday a new skill video um it, it's 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 too expensive for me right now and uh it was also and not only that it was not only like it's it, it is it is expensive but it's also like a little bit exhausting for me because yeah i don't know like it's uh um, like I said, sometimes I need a break and to sit back and rethink about some ideas that I have in mind. Otherwise, I get like a machine and, and not really. I'm a creative person and I don't like to be becoming a machine, like an, an, a mass production. Um, and so that's why I sometimes need to st take a step back to this. And that's why I'm not doing every Tuesday a video anymore. Now, this is an exception right now because this will be... Uh, I think I'm going to release this every Monday right now <laughs> uh, until it's like it's uh, Halloween. But I sculpted it, of course. You can see that the, the horse is slowly coming alive. And... Um, I will release this every week now, uh, a new video about this till um, till it's Halloween, and I'm going to upload it every Monday because like I saw that Halloween was on a Monday, which is super nice. So <laughs> I'm going to like release um, the last video when it's done. I release that on the Halloween day itself. Um, so please look forward to all that. Um, so this is like an exception that I'm going to release now every video every week, but otherwise it I will probably just only upload it when I have the time and when I have the moment to do this. So yeah, sorry about that, but I really want to say that. I'm going to close this video here today. I It's a little bit different than normally. Normally I just like sculpt and talk at the same time. But but simply I forgot to do it with this horse uh, sculpture. I just like thought I made do some like a, a podcast a little bit like keeping you up to date of what I'm working on and what I'm doing in my real life or not in real life, but like <laughs> what I'm doing in. Uh, you can also know what I'm doing in real life, but I don't think that people care. But uh, just like tell, like explain a little bit of like, yeah, what I'm working on, what I'm doing in dreams. And if you are curious about what I do more in dreams, just follow me on Twitch. That's where I do everything live, live. And I will like chat with you guys. I will talk. You can ask me anything you want. I'm not sure if I can always like <laughs> answer every question, but I will do my best if you have some questions. You can also like leave some uh, questions in the comments if you have certain questions that I can answer of course like sometimes I cannot answer or I don't know the answer as, as well um, I'm also human um, but yeah, I just let me know in the comments like if you're um, enjoying maybe this type of content it's a little bit different than normally normally I don't do like speed like uh, like a speed forward uh, sculpture um, because like I always say that I'm not cutting into my content, which I normally never do because I don't like that. I don't like to cut into my videos. I always want to see the whole process of what I'm working on. I think that's a very cool uh, and, and a good way to, for a learning curve for other for people to see like how I do certain approaches to my sculptures and maybe you can learn from it or maybe you can like, ah, I can say like, I can do this better. Uh, it's all fine. That's, that's all, that's the whole learning thing. And uh, that's also why I'm releasing my videos so that you, you can become better. Um, and like I have a slogan on my YouTube banner. It says like, uh, knowledge is free. And what I mean with that is like, normally people say knowledge is power, but actually no knowledge should be free. Um, uh, I don't want to like, like put paywalls behind the, uh, behind my knowledge that I have. I want to, I don't want you to have to pay for that. I just want to share what, how I see things 
And I want to share my creativity to, to the open, to YouTube. And I think that's why YouTube is so great for that. And also with like Twitch, of course, when I can do it and show it live um, with my shares. And you don't need to pay a dime uh, unless for, uh, uh, except for your own internet connection. <laughs> but you don't have to pay me for anything like that. I don't like that. I will never ask you for that. Um, of course, you're all welcome to do it. And I will, I will hug you all in in digital but <laughs> uh, but you don't have to um simply because like i think and this is why also my slogan is knowledge should always be free with knowledge like sometimes i hate when there are newspapers when you have to pay for to see the news article i hate that it shouldn't be there you should be reading free what's going on in the world because like if you're going to uh, pay well everything uh the knowledge behind everything you will yeah, or you're, you're going, or you're going to force the people going to pay for you, or people are going to pay for you, but they don't know what's going on. <laughs> so it's, it's I don't, I don't like that. And maybe I'm a little bit stupid, but uh, I don't like stuff like that. And uh, I really hope that YouTube also keep keep being like this. Um, that's not going to be completely paid, but uh, let, let's pray and let's pray for not. But yeah, I'm not asking you for this, and I'm not asking you for anything to um subscribing would be awesome even though i will never end my videos with asking that as well I, I i don't like it um you know how youtube works if you like my content you know what to do you already been probably here for for many years already on youtube you already know how that works so if you like it you can of course like follow me but you don't have to i'm not going to whine or cry <laughs> like uh about it like it's it's fine but I'm only curious, like, the only thing that I am really curious about if, if my, is my content good enough, at least for people. Um, I'm a little bit something that can be insecure with that stuff, but uh, I don't mind if you're following me or, uh, or not. I don't care about it. But I'm going to leave it here today. I really hope that you'll enjoy this new way of video and, uh, and the sculpture of the horse, of course. Uh, it's not finished yet, of course, but don't worry. I will make another video next week and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more. What's that? Maybe something new happened uh, next week. Let's see. Um, as always, I'm going to say, don't forget to dream, everybody, and see you next time. Bye-bye.